Hi friends! Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you're all doing amazing. As I've said in my last video, I wanted to make a little Q&A in celebration of hitting 500 subscribers and I've actually hit 600 already, which is so so crazy to me. Thank you so much. I really really appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you're not subscribed yet, feel free to do so for more <laughs> cozy Animal Crossing content. I'd love to have you. And yeah, I've asked you guys on Instagram for questions and there weren't too many, which is absolutely okay. I have a lot of interesting ones, but I'm going to throw in a few fun facts about me just to fill in the gaps. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first question was, what will your next island theme be? And that's very interesting because I've just started this island. And I think this question was asked when I just finished my uh, train car island. And yeah, so I hadn't revealed my new theme. So this is actually the theme I'm doing currently, which is kind of like fruit core, really colorful, terraformed island. I At first I wanted to have it minimal, but <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work because I have so many colors and flowers. So I'll see how it turns out. But yeah. Um, yeah, I have a mood board in my last video, <laughs> if you want to check that out. Um, but for my next island, I'm not sure at all because I've just started this one. But I think I will probably need something less colorful, <laughs> even though I love color. Um, but it can be a bit much, so definitely something with muted colors. Um, maybe beige, brown, white or off-white cream and green and maybe do like a minimal take again because yeah i just feel very comfortable on those islands so yeah um, let me know if you have any suggestions for any themes i should do i'd definitely be open to suggestions <laughs> so the next question was are there any projects you'd like to realize if there were no time and money limitations at all I thought this was such an interesting question and I think one thing I would definitely want to have is a home where I have my own garden. So that would be kind of like a project to have and first of all I would need the house and then to have the garden because I've always had a garden in my childhood homes and I really miss it as I am now living in the city. So yeah I'd love to wake up in the morning and walk outside again and listen to the birds and be in the sun and just yeah have that available and yeah i would also love to grow my own veggies and berries and make my own jam and pickles and stuff so yeah oh and also i would really love to visit new zealand and iceland <laughs> those two have been on my list for a really long time let me know if you guys have any ideas for this question i think it's so so interesting so yeah put them in the comments and the next question was, what inspired you to come up with train core? And I've had a few people ask this and also where I get inspiration in general. <laughs> and yeah, so as for train core, I basically, I was very inspired by the landscapes you drive by in Germany on the train because it's very common to visit different cities by train here. And yeah, I've had this idea while I was literally on the train. <laughs> Um, and I've had this idea for like two years, I think, when I was visiting my friend and I wrote it down and couldn't stop thinking about it, but I yeah, was too scared to do it. Uh, yeah, but I think it turned out quite cute. And in general, I like to take inspiration from like my surroundings, from nature around me, or even not nature, like the city. <laughs> and But I also browse on Pinterest and like scroll and see if anything sparks interest. The next question is, have you ever done a no terraform island with just your own codes? And I haven't, but I would really like to do that as a challenge. I don't know if it has to be like a 30 day challenge or just a challenge in general. I think 30 days is a bit excessive. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'd love to try and see how the island turns out. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Maybe that can be my next theme. And I can still have like a minimal, very, yeah, muted island. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see a island with no terraforming and just my own codes. We could, yeah, make our own codes together. <laughs> I can maybe do videos on that. I'm not that good 
Um, but I, yeah, I think I can maybe whip up something cute. So I'd love to try. And the next question is my absolute favorite item to decorate with. And that one definitely changes and depends on the theme that I'm doing. For example, I loved Rover's briefcase for my last island, of course, because it gave it that like really cute and uh, realistic touch for the train core. Um, yeah, right now I really love the plain party light art, which you can see in this video. Um, I think it's just such a cute item. And yeah, but I think in general, I just really like decorating with trees and bushes. They make everything feel so luscious and green. <laughs> so yeah, kind of a boring answer, I'm sorry. <laughs> the next question is, if you could only use one in-game path, which would it be? And I think that's pretty easy for me. It would definitely be the light dirt path because I think that's just so versatile. And yeah, I also love that you can plant trees and bushes and flowers on it. And of course, put other codes on top, which you can also do on the other ones. But I think the dirt path is just very versatile and so soft, kind of. I really like the dirt path in like 6am lighting. It's so, so pretty. Next question is favorite ACNH villager and why? And that's so, so hard for me. There are so many cuties and I don't think I can pick one. But a few of my favorites are definitely Kali, then Marshall, Maple and Sylvana, I think. <laughs> also, yeah, I really like the squirrels. Um, but there are so many other cuties like Lolly and Poppy and Midge. I could name so, so many more. And the next question is, do you remember some of your first ever villagers from older games even maybe? And I've only played Wild World and Pocket Camp before, so I don't remember too well who I had on Wild World. <laughs> That's like so long ago. Um, but there were definitely some cuties I remember. I think one of them was Punchy and also Peanut. And I remember loving those. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know the other ones, but I remember I had Goldie in Pocket Camp, so I really liked Goldie. Um, but on my New Horizons island, my first villagers were Rold and Sylvia. And I kind of like Rold, he's cute and iconic. Uh, but I didn't like Sylvia, she was really rude like a lot of the sisterlies. And she didn't want to leave. So yeah, I did not vibe with her. And also my first ever lazy was Eric. I was so, so proud. And then shortly after I got Marshall and Maple, <laughs> which is so, so crazy. I had such good luck on my villager hunts. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So those were all the questions. And I thought I would just throw in some fun facts about me or not so fun. <laughs> For example, my birthday is March 10th, which means I just turned 26, which is absolutely crazy. 26 is so old, but let's ignore that. <laughs> then another fact is that I have a small black cat named Kiki and a brown Labrador named Paula, who lives with my parents currently. Um, I live by the sea and I couldn't live without it. I studied spatial strategies, which is like a mix of set design and interior design. But I made the decision to switch careers last year and do something more medial, so I will likely study multimedia production in October. <laughs> then I like to do archery, and basically every two weeks my boyfriend and I host a board game day because we both love to play games with friends. Uh, my favorite board game at the moment is Settlers of Catan, and <laughs> my absolute favorite card game is That's Not a Hat. I play Fortnite and League of Legends most nights of the week with my friends and it gets very chaotic. And I have been to 15 different countries but I've never left Europe. So that was all from me. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this build too. I didn't comment on it, I just thought I'd let you watch. And yeah, I'm excited to continue. And if you liked it, make sure to leave a like on the video and a comment on if I should do a theme with no terraforming and just my own codes. Let me know if you would like to see that. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much. Bye.